Uh, it's a pleasure and honor to be present in the state of Odisha for our second uh, culture working group uh, meeting for G20. Uh, very, very proud of our heritage and uh, I'm so happy that the uh, state of Orissa uh, was uh, chosen for the second working group meeting, uh, known to be Utkal, which is Uttam Kala Kshetra, and uh, that's what uh, Orissa represents. And right now we are present in a uh, modern museum uh, of Gan uh, Eternal Gandhi, and eternity of Gandhi lies in the thought process of eternity of India, and uh, the thoughts which have been picked up from various thought processes right adjacent is Udegiri Caves and Udegiri Caves themselves represent the time period before Kharvelas, Kharvelas and post Kharvelas and all kind of detailing you will see from ancient uh, humans who lived in those rock cut shelters to transition when first century BC the the rock was cut and uh, uh, used f by uh, Jain monks and others and subsequently used by several others. You find Hindu deities. You find the engravings with the story of Ramayana and several other Jatak uh, Kathas. So this is India where uh, we all stem from the same tree and we represent different branches and we know we have the lessons in coexistence. And I also must say that uh, working here on the Culture Working Group as a second meeting uh, was uh, a really pleasurable experience. I thank the government of Orissa, people of Orissa, all the officers who were engaged in this uh, working, including the Chief Minister. And uh, the Prime Minister, Modi ji, has inspired us and also told us that this is the time and this is the right time because we are celebrating Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav when India has completed 75 years of its independence and from now onwards for 25 years India has to work really hard and take India position what it used to be and that uh, pole position will come to us only by our right thinking and right resolve and right resolve to be followed by right action.